Hi YouTube, it's Talia here, your vegan amiga. And today I have some delicious comfort food slash kid friendly food. I really don't know what I'm gonna title this video, so it's gonna be something along those lines. Um, but I'll just explain to you what I have in front of me. Um, this video actually turned out a little different than I had anticipated. Um, I wanted to just make it a full on Trader Joe's mac and cheese video. And I was going to make like this um, mac and cheese waffles basically. Um, but they did not turn out. So I ended up scrapping the whole thing and just um, making a little side of mac and cheese. This is the full container by the way that you buy. I cannot believe how little comes in it. Like granted I did eat some of it, but I did not eat all like most of it like this is definitely most of what you get which is crazy but whatever it's really good so I can't I can't knock them um I just wish there was more you know I should have I knew I should have bought two I was there I had two in my hand I was like yeah I'll just buy one but next time I'll definitely buy two and I will definitely um try harder to make <laughs> the waffles work out because it sounded so good and it looked like it was working but it just I didn't do it right I didn't let them set properly you're supposed to do anyway so well, we'll do it in a different video it's fine um but i also have some vegan corn dogs i'm so excited from morningstar and then i also have these veggie tizers these are the pizza bites pepperoni pizza bites um and they're also from morningstar and they're so freaking good they're basically like tostino's pizza rolls are supposed to be like um but honestly they're amazing i'll I already bit into one so you could see Side. like look at that it looks so good oh my gosh I'm just gonna eat this the rest of this now since we're here mmm so good um and then on the side I have some ketchup mustard and relish because I've actually never tried that before on a corn dog but I figure why haven't I tried that because corn dog is basically just a hot dog right so let's just dig in because I'm starving I already have a lot of mustard on this one Mmm. Mmm. So good. I love corn dogs so much. Okay, I'll try with some relish because I did not put that on there the first go around. But I love mustard so much. Oh my gosh. Mmm. 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 I feel like why have I never tried that? It just makes sense, you know? And that's really good. If you haven't tried a corn dog with relish, I would definitely recommend, although I'm sure it's probably a thing. Oh, I have this watch that I keep forgetting about. It's in here somewhere. And it beeps like that all the time. But I don't go in here all the time. So I forget about it until I'm already in here and then I hear it again. I'm like, oh man. Also, I just have some water here. It was ice water, but the ice already melted. Wow. And I got a new one of these cups. I'm so happy. One of these little mason jar mugs. I actually found this at Dollar Tree for, you guessed it, a dollar. And so cute. I'm so glad I threw away the other one because remember I, I had it and then it mysteriously got a crack in it and I didn't want to throw it away, but I knew I needed to because I couldn't use it, but I finally threw it away. RIP. Do that one. Mmm. Uh oh, got some uh, condiments on this one. Oh, this little veggie tizer, so good. It's literally like a little Tostino's pizza roll. I mean, it definitely 
the outside is definitely different. It looks more like a chicken nugget. And the texture is obviously a little different, but the taste is spot on, honestly, to me. I mean, again, I'm biased and I haven't had it in a while, but had like real Tocino pizza rolls in a while, but I mean, these are really, really, really good. Um, vegan alternative. For real. Mm. Let's dig into this mac and cheese. Oh, here, let me show you. It looks really good. It's just, um, I kind of cooked it like three times <sighs> because so I cooked one batch. Let's get a bite first, actually. Let's do a big bite. Mm. So I cooked it once. I only cooked about a third of it on the stove top, like the directions say. And I was doing that as I was cooking, um, trying to cook some of it in the little waffle maker that I have. And then I quickly realized that it wasn't gonna work. So I took out all the stuff from the waffle maker that I had in there already, and then put, put the rest that I had set apart for the waffles to make the waffles, um, put it all in a pan. So then I re, baked recooked there we go recooked the uh mac and cheese that was already in there on top of the stuff that i put in from the waffle maker and then on top of the cold stuff parts that i had that i was saving for the waffle maker so i was cooking it up and then i realized oh shoot i have to cook like i was like what am i gonna do for this video i can't just eat this little tiny bowl of mac and cheese you know so i um quickly put all this into on the on the tray and just rammed it into the oven and then I realized I had to wait 20 minutes so then I stopped the cooking and then recooked it once this was almost done so it's gone through a little bit today but yes it's definitely a little bit on the crispier side but I don't mind it I like it a lot it's actually really really good mm, and I added some pepper to it just regular black pepper Mwah. So good. I'm gonna try some of this little um, veggie tizer thing. It's pizza roll with some mac and cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Yum, not bad. Mm -hmm. A lot of sauce things going on in there. <laughs> also, my hair is growing out, like my bangs, I should say. So, I mean, I think they still look good down, just straight across, you know? But they're also really in the way. And I, um, with how hot it's been, it just makes me really sweaty on my forehead. So I'm just gonna push them to the side for now. I wanna get them to the stage where I can part my hair down the middle and then they'll go into like the rest of my hair, if that makes sense. Without being awkwardly here, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, we'll see how long that takes or if it ever even works out. Cause sometimes I just don't like how my hair looks parted down the middle and then sometimes I love it. I mean, I go into the stages, I don't know what it is. Mm. Yum. So good. Pretty much just mix all the condiments together. Because, oh, why not? Oh, my. Mm -hmm. 
This is kid friendly, but also very junk foody. But I also feel like it's very, very comfort foody, you know what I mean? Because who doesn't love a nice bowl of mac and cheese and a corn dog and some little Frostino's pizza rolls? What just screams comfort food and home vibes? Um, I don't know. Mm. I was trying to eat healthy this week too, but I guess this could be like my cheat day or whatever. I don't really have like set days where I'm like, this is my cheat day. It's the only day I'm gonna eat bad, you know? I should, I should be like the real McBangers who plan it out, you know, and so they can stay consistently at their weight and everything. <laughs> but I haven't gotten to that point yet. I do work out every day. Probably not as hard as all of them, but I mean, it's something. But I should probably have consistent filming days where I know, okay, this day, I'm gonna eat a bunch of crap. I used to think, honestly, that McBangers would, when they would film um, a cheat day video, they would go all out in the sense of eating crappy food all day um, and then not working out on top of that, just completely being like relaxed and just not caring um, and not calorie counting, but I was very wrong. I think they work out harder <laughs> um, on cheat days because it makes sense. They're consuming way more calories, carbs and everything. So that's why I would have done it wrong. <laughs> I would have been like, this is my cheat day. I'm not doing anything except eating. And eating bad food you know that's what a cheat day means to me that's what it sounds like to me at least mm. I actually had <laughs> hot dogs three times in a week. I just realized. Technically right now, because there's a hot dog in this corn dog. <laughs> and then last Thursday, Sean and I went to Carlsbad to go ca car camping, tent camping. Beach camping, I'm sorry, I'm thinking Coachella, car camping, no. Uh, beach camping, and we bought hot dogs for the first day. So I had two of those the first day? Yeah. I had two of those the first night. And then we had two left because I had, we bought this, a pack of these vegan ones. And Sean bought his own regular hot dog. And, um... And I actually tried a new um, vegan hot dog flavor and brand and everything. Um, I usually just go for the very generic, basic, um, what are they even called? Oh my gosh, dang it. I always have them. Uh, I'll remember, if I remember the name, I'll put it down below. 
I'll look it up and I'll put it down below. But I used to get those and they're just a very basic like normal vegan hot dogs. But um, Sean saw them and he's like, ew, these look gross. Like you should get some good ones because they had like bratwurst and like different types of vegan hot dogs. And I was like, fine, you know what? You're right, these do sound good. So I got some that had like eggplant and garlic and onion and fennel I think it had as well. And they smelled really, really good. But I had them in our cooler for the last two that I had eaten um, for a couple of days while we were there. And I ate them on the last day as well. So I ate them Thursday and then Sunday, or no, Saturday night. And um, yeah, they were just making everything smell like these hot dogs, which ugh, I don't know why that grosses me out, but it's just it, everything smelled like it. Even when we got home, there were like, we cleaned out the cooler, it smelled like it. Like the bag that I used to put the hot dogs in, cause I bought these reusable reusable Ziploc bags from Amazon and it smelled like it I was washing it out oh so so like I said Thursday night Saturday night and then today cool three days three days clean a row that's why I wanted to eat healthy this week because last week kind of went crazy Cheese, please. Almost done with mac and cheese. But I'm also getting full. I'm very full. Whoo! Okay, I'm gonna finish these little guys and then probably call it a night. I should probably finish this first though. Yeah. Mm. I just got so stuffed. I'm like so close to finishing each of these things. I should probably finish these two. The mac and cheese, have a little bit more of it than everything else, but I'm so close. I could finish all and give myself a stomach ache. A stomach ache. Not a stomach lake. I heard a dog. It's really weird. I really thought I heard a dog outside though, like whimpering. Oh, that'd be my nightmare. Okay. I'm gonna have a bite of mac and cheese and then be done. Yum it. Oh, I always do that. Last bite. I don't know how people who do food challenges do this. Do it. I don't know, I don't know, I, don't, I have no idea. Props to them, for real. Ah, okay. 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Please let me know in the comments below what you liked about this video, what you didn't like, if you'd like to see anything specific, if you have any recipes you'd like me to try out. Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments. Um, please leave a like and subscribe if you like what you see here. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video real soon, hopefully. I don't know why I keep doing this thing. <clears throat> Anyways. <laughs> Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and see you guys soon. Bye.